Hi, the uh, first thing I'm going to do is start with United States paper money. I have quite a lot right here. And um, I started collecting these about a year ago, and I've been really interested in these. It's been kind of my hobby. I create labels for them and stuff. The um, <clears throat> first one right here is a um, two shilling uh, banknote from the colony of Pennsylvania. These were very interesting banknotes because they, um, at the time, you know, England was under the control of the, of the colonies in the New World. So it says right here, it says, according to the Act of a General Assembly of Pennsylvania, passed in the 13th year of his reign of the Majesty, King George III, dated, I think it's the third day of October, 1773. And these were the signatures. The um, colonies were weren't very rich in coins and stuff. They used a lot of their coins were from um, Spanish mints, like in like in um, Bolivia, which is like, and they had used silver from Potosi, which is in a mountain. Um, they used a lot of silver reels, which were, eh, were the coinage uh, in most of the Americas. So the um, colonies weren't very rich in these sources, resources, so they decided to print their money, and it did work out for the for, for the first couple decades because. They would, they would print them, pay it to them to the general public, and they would withdraw them by taxing them with this. And um, they worked quite well until the beginning of the Revolutionary War. This one is a beautiful banknote. Not in very con condition. I'm not really good with buying good conditions. I'm about buying large amounts of, of stuff. But this right here, it's printed by Holland Sellers. They're quite a um, common uh, printing company at the time. Um, they print for all the colonies. This is a um, plantation with a rainbow, and it's just a very beautiful picture. Um, so it's to death, is to counterfeit. And these were really interesting designs. So that was for this. Thank you. Bye.